Hello, YouTubers. Hey, we're back at it again. So today I'm doing some more work on the Bronco. We're developing some things for it. And sometimes, sometimes when we're developing stuff, we run into certain things. And uh, today was no different. What we have here is what they call a Faraday box. Inside the Faraday box, there are Faraday pouches. And what are they for? Well, I'll show you. This hair had this particular vehicle has an intelligence access system on it. So in other words, if this is in my pocket, I can walk over and you see the little dot. You don't even need to touch the dot. Just put your hand on the machine. See the lights? That means it unlocked automatically. I didn't have to touch the fob. Hit the handle again, same thing. So it, it's obviously sensing the uh, remote. So the Faraday box is designed to keep electromagnetic fields in or out of the box. And of course, that's how they operate, electromagnetically field. So inside this box, there's a spare key. As you can see, nothing else in the box. And it's supposed to look after keeping everything that's in the box contained in the box. So I've had this for, hey, what, maybe a year? And I said, you know what? I wonder if it works. Just assumed it worked. Because what we're doing with this is kind of indirectly related to this. So I said, I think I'm going to take it out and I'm going to try it. So this morning, I came out and I laid it huh, right here like that. Now, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. We'll see what happens. Now, see, it's not working. It's doing its job. But I can bet you, what about 10 minutes ago, we could make that happen whatever way. Look, there you go. Okay. Now, re remember, my other fob is here. If I take that fob and I put it over here, it has no bearing on this. Okay, I'll prove that. See, it's still picking it up. If I take that and I put it over here, it's doing its job now. So I'm not saying it don't work, I'm just saying it has a weakness. And the weakness is it's still too close to the machine. So why do you need this? Is because we have people with no scruples at all these days are out there trying to scan your key fob to get a code so they can steal your machine. Well, if you have this in your garage and you have it too close to your machine, they're going to find it and they're going to scan it or they're just going to take the box. Now, so I said, well, okay, we know that the box has failed close to the machine. It's not failing now because it's over there with the key fob, right? Key fob's there, right, Kathy? Yeah. yeah. So I said, well, okay, well, what about the pouches? So let's try the pouches. So what I did to keep it tighter into the pouch, I removed the strap. So we're going to put it in here and we're going to close it as it's supposed to be. All right. Now we're going to lay this up here. Let's see what happens or if anything happens. Look. Now people will say, well, what difference does that make? Well, here's what the difference is. If that vehicle can pick up this fob 
from that distance, if Kathy was getting in this vehicle and had this in her purse, which we already checked, a guy with a scanner could be this close to her, like she could be at an ATM machine, and they could get the code. Now when she leaves that, she decides, hey, I'm going to go in the store over there, and I'm going to uh, buy something. They could be at the park a lot now with the code stealing your vehicle. So that's failed. Now, let's try something else. You know how everybody these days are making tinfoil hats? Maybe they're not. Maybe they're not wrong. Yeah. Of course, I'm not even smart enough to get that in the box. Well, let's not put too much on it. Let's just, just that much. I just want to see what's going to happen here. So we'll lay it here and see what happens. Will it work? Well, nope. <laughs> can't get the code. Can't pick up the electromagnetic field. So, this was $36, and I have more confidence in this than I do that. Now, I'm not saying that all Faraday boxes or pouches are bad. I'm saying the ones that I bought on Amazon don't work. It certainly don't uh, place much, I certainly don't place much confidence in them. And I know for a fact that if I use these pouches and somebody's out in the parking lot scanning the parking lot, uh, they can still get the code even though it's in that box. And even if it was in Kathy's purse, we already tried that this morning, you can still, the machine will still pick up the signal. Now how this came about was last summer we were into a store that we frequent quite often. And when I pulled in, I'm always aware, trying to be aware of my surroundings. And I said to Kathy, just look over in the van. And over in this white van, it was something like you'd see on an old detective show. There was a guy that had about three laptops hooked up on his dash. And he had a keyboard in his lap. And he was... Now, listen. I'm not saying he was working for NASA or the FBI or CSIS or whoever. I'm just saying I get very uncomfortable when I see a guy sitting in a white van and typing with three screens That's right. right so i might be a bit paranoid you know and i made i i made a lot i might have lost 30 or 40 nights sleep but i just i just left the parking lot didn't we, we did. yeah i said there's something not right here leave and come back. yeah so that's what we did so anyway folks if you have intelligent access on your Broncos or whatever vehicle you have and they're telling you to buy these Faraday boxes, the simple test is we'll try the other one. Okay. Take your key, put it in your Faraday bag, get four feet, five feet away and see if the truck still picks it up or the vehicle and it did that failed so be very careful because this is vehicle theft now is higher than it's ever been as a matter of fact it's so high the city of toronto just this very week said anybody who's using faraday boxes and they see your vehicle out by your door and they want that vehicle they're going to break down their door, break down your door, and they're possibly going to do something nasty to you to find that box because they can't scan it, they're saying. 
So the police recommended leaving the key at the door. That way when they open it up, all they want is the key and they're going to uh, take your vehicle and go on and hopefully nobody gets hurt. Well, I'm kind of not that way. If you're going to take something that I worked hard for or we worked hard for, you're going to have a battle. Suppose that I got to throw the wife at you. <laughs> that's providing they have a good box. You don't. Well, well, no, that's right. No. How many people test them? Well, this is the thing, and that's the reason for this, yeah. this video, is never take it for granted because they say it's a Faraday box that is going to work. Exactly. We, we're we did. Yeah. So, oh, it's got to work. That's what they're calling it. That's useless as something on a bull. I won't go there. So, again, so that, failed, that is more valuable. That is giving your vehicle more protection than this. Okay, yeah, watch the aluminum sails. Go oh, yeah, everybody be wearing aluminum hats and everything <laughs> again now. It's working. Right, with the little points on them, yes. right? But anyway, folks, just be wary and just be careful. If you have these in your home and you think your vehicle is being protected, do the simple test. Put them in the bag, put them in the box, go over, touch your handle. If the lights blink, that means these aren't working. Yeah. So, nice. Good tip. and uh, so what are we going to do with this now? Well, I don't know. They're not really work much. They work nothing when they don't work. When they're only bought to protect exactly. them, and they're not doing that. So what do you do? Keep order until you find one that works? <laughs> no, I think... I think we go with our aluminum foil. Well, I'm going to tell you, if I'm going to be away from the vehicle for a while, and I'm going to be in a populated area, hey, having a little bit of this rolled up in your purse, mm -hmm. or your fanny bag, or put it under your hat, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> wherever, right? Two purposes. Wrap it in, and that we don't, it don't take very much. And it's easy, look how easy that is to put in your pocket, but that's Nothing. Nice, isn't it? So while you're in your restaurant having a nice meal, when you come out, it's a pretty good chance your vehicle's going to be there unless it was towed or repossessed. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't help with that. No. No. So if you it didn't, yeah, that's right, because you got it wrapped up. It's wrapped up. Look, it's not, it's not happening. Yeah, perfect. Just to see if we open it up just a little bit, right? There's your proof. There's the proof. It's open. Yeah, you Folks, yeah. as I always say, there it is and it can't be no tizzer. Right? So watch your Faraday boxes. If you have intelligent access, easy way to test it. Because I'm telling you, folks, I know it's only a Ford and I know it's only a Bronco, but somebody wants the darn thing. They can't keep them on lots. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, leave some comments. I might not get a chance to reply to all of them because there's just so many uh, but I read every one of them so it'd be interesting to see your comments on this and did you have a Faraday box did you try to experiment and if it did did it pass and if it passed hey leave the link <laughs> leave the link because yeah. I need a good Faraday box and pouches now That's good. this is not going to work right instead of buying them yeah somebody else. yeah you guys can buy them all up and Everyone got a different one, don't Let they? me know, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Something a little bit different. Somebody said the other day they wanted shop videos. Well, I guess you could include this as a shop video. Anyway, we'll see you next trip around, folks. You guys take care. Be good to each other. And God bless.